So we will now proceed to the discounting of note receivable. So first is um, we need to know what is discounting. This involves a promissory note. And in a promissory note, there are two parties. We have the maker and we have the payee. The maker is the one who made the promissory note. So, siya ang nag suwat sa promissory note, siya ang nag um, gama og promise. So, uh, I promise to pay ABC Company the amount of 10,000 pesos on or before April 10, 2021. So, that's a promissory note if you're going to... Um, uh, make a promise and you specify the date and how much you're going to pay um, the amount. So, if it's written, uh, promise, so, mao na siya, promise or note. So, ang katong nagsuwat at do, that's the maker. And the person nga ato ang gi promisan nga bayaran would, uh, would be called as the payee. So, he's entitled to payment on the date of maturity. So, when a note is negotiable, the payee may obtain cash before maturity by discounting the note at a bank or other financing company. So, pwede na niyang i-advance o uh, kuha ang kwarta in case nga ang maker dili pa mo bayad. So, pwede, pwede siya maka-advance by discounting the note. So, to discount the note, the payee must endorse it. So, there should be an endorsement. Thus, legally, the payee becomes an endorser and the bank becomes an endorsee. So, uh, for example, si A, si A ang maker and then si B ang payee. So, again, si A ang maker, si B ang pay. Si A ang maker, siya ang borrower. Kaya diba, siya man ang nagama sa note, siya ang nangutang. So, si A nga maker, siya ang borrower. Unya, si B ang ato ang pay. Or siya ang lender or ang creditor. Si B, katong atong pay, uh, pwede man siya nga maka kuha na sa money uh, even if wala pa ni bayad si A nga maker. So, sa man niyang buhaton, mo siya sa bangko, si B, si B mo sa bangko, katong pay na to, mo siya sa bank, and A present niya tong promissory note ni A. O niya, iyahan ng ipa, iyahan ng i-endorse. So, ang mahitabo, si B, nga pay, mahimo siya, endorser. And then, Ang bangko, moto ang endorsee. So, what is an endorsement? So, ang endorsement is a transfer of right to a negotiable instrument by simply signing at the back of the instrument. So, mag-sign siya dito, nga endorse niya. So, silwing ipasa na niya ang promissory note na sa bangko. So, ang mahitabo, Ang bangko na karon ang mahimong as if new nga pay pero mahimong na gyud siya ang pay kay nga naman ang kato si A, di ba si A man tong nakautang ni B. So si A, adun na siya liable ni bangko. Pero adun naman siya liable ni bangko kay gipasa naman, bagi transfer naman ni B ang ato ang original pay, gi transfer naman ni ang right adto padung na sa Bangko. Kaya ang buhato ni Bangko, mag-issue siya og money at to ni B uh, for the amount uh, na, na, na proceeds which we will, we will compute later on. So, ihang release-an og money si B for the discounted na note. But since gi pa discount na ni B, maka expect nga lesser ang ma-receive ni B compared unta sa iyahang madawat kung naghuwat siya sa maturity date. But remember, di ba, nga nung ni-enter tao, receivable financing because we don't have uh, money on hand and kinahang na na to ang immediate nga money. So, uh, instead of waiting for our customers or for our borrowers to pay us, so pwede nang mag-enter ta into uh, agreements with financial institution para maka 
pa-advance ta o kwarta. So, it may be an endorsement with recourse or without recourse. So, in if it is with recourse, the endorser shall pay the endorsee if the maker dishonors the note. Remember, pag with recourse, diba na apagihapoy, liability. So, there's a secondary liability of the endorser in legal parlance or it's also called as a contingent liability of the endorser in accounting parlance. So, this with recourse is a secondary liability if we're talking about a uh, legal nga term. Pero kung sa accounting ni siya na ay contingent liability. But if the endorsement is without recourse, so this means that wala na liability C endorser. So sa akong example, si B ang endorser. Wala na na siya itulubagon sa bank. If si A, ang atong maker, dili siya mubayad nga sa bank. Diba? Again, wala na itulubagon si B. Katong atong pay o katong atong endorser wala na siya liability in case dili mo bayad si A which is our maker ngadto ni bangko so mana siya ang without recourse in the absence of any evidence to the contrary if wala specification sa problem if this is with recourse or without recourse so we will treat the endorsement as with recourse so there is a liability on the part of the endorser in the event that the maker will not be able to pay or refuses to pay the bank or our endorsee. Then, an entity shall be recognized a financial asset when either one of the following criteria is met. So, if the contractual rights to the cash flows of the financial asset have expired or the financial asset has been transferred and the transfer qualifies for the recognition based on the extent of transfer of risks and rewards of ownership. So this happens when substantially all risk and rewards are transferred or when the entity has lost control of the asset. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!